Thank you. Could any of us have a better friend than Bob Lynch? Let's hear it for Bob Lynch. I, he, he is, as you know, extraordinary, a force of nature. I will never forget the first time Bob called me. Uh, it was over a decade ago. I remember where I was standing, and he said he was impressed with what we were doing, and he asked me to speak at an Americans for the Arts gathering. When he was finished making the pitch, I remember staring into the phone and without hesitation told him he must have the wrong Ken Solomon. I'm the TV executive, and we're not routinely used to being consulted for our views on arts and culture. Well, <laughs> Bob assured me that I was the right guy, and despite his clearly ill-conceived thesis, we've been great friends and, and partners and soldiers in the battle for the arts ever since. Now, I have to admit, as you could imagine, it's humbling to find myself between such an accomplished artist as Ben Folds, who, can we just one more time, I mean, can you believe it? He's incredible. And our next speaker, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Maureen Dowd. Another, come on, let's have it. All the while standing on this storied stage in front of you, an audience that has given so much to furthering the arts in America. So on behalf of Ovation, Charles, and our entire team, which Bob did such a good job in, in mentioning every single last one of our employees, we are the only arts TV network in America. I want to say an official thank you. Now, Ocean, o Ovation believes that the support of the arts is one of the greatest measurements of the health of our democracy. And as a private enterprise, as you just heard, we put our money where our mouths are. To date, Ovation has given actually over $12 million to the arts and arts education. Thank you. And thank you. And, and more importantly, we're proud to fight right alongside all of you and, all, and next to AFTA. And of course, my good friend Rocco, who, along with the National Endowment for the Arts, is here to continue the extraordinary programs that fundamentally change so many lives and shape our country for the better. Now, it is no surprise that it's once again a campaign year. And yes, already the economic rhetoric has begun and the arts have become shockingly a budget target. But as creative people, I'd, I'd ask you all to imagine for just a moment a campaign year where fostering the arts was instead held out as a prize to be coveted. In this campaign, candidates would regularly proclaim what we all know, that the arts and an investment in it leads to economic return on that investment literally like no other. Politicians would tell you how NEA programs create jobs and how this relatively small level of support vastly improves public education and prepares the next generation, most importantly, of our young people to lead the charge in the new global software economy. Candidates would clamor for the credit in championing the NEA for what it is, good business. Those are the indisputable facts. And any campaign rhetoric you'll hear in the days and weeks to come must be exposed for what they truly are, cheap theatrics for short-term political gain. It's true. And that's why our Ovation team is proud to fight alongside each and every one of you and most excited to celebrate the arts tonight.